Like, why? Because you just grew up with it. Maybe I wasn't even sufficient. Maybe, maybe, and maybe is can just create a lot of things. Yeah, create yeah. a lot of things in exactly. your head, and before you know, you are getting imposter syndrome. Exactly. And all of those. Beautiful. That is it. So we're talking about trauma. Love can lead to trauma. No love if you don't have heart. <laughs> Dear viewers, no love. Love will hurt you. Love will take you through the highest and will bring you to the lowest. But, but love is beautiful. And when, when you give yourself to really love you, we kind of want to give our all. You know that, that situation where this is not comfortable for you at all. But because you love this person, you are ready to go do it for the person. Yeah. And then in the middle of it all, you are just left hanging. I understand what that trauma can be. I understand. And and it's 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 an issue because the people who inflict pains on other people tend not to understand what this is. Some people just feel like love is something they do and they leave it But For people who are sensitive, because I believe there are sensitive people looking at this video right now. For people who are sensitive and tend to question themselves over and over again, it begins to create that thing you said. Maybe it's you begin to have the gap. And that is where trauma begins to build. You begin to build a wall. So tell us about the wall you built <laughs> against love. Because that's where we're going to. <laughs> okay, wait, so this is getting so personal now. <laughs> but like I said, um, I'm happy that I can share because I believe that most times God, God takes us through some things so that we'll be able to see the story from, from an experience yes, point of view. So within that three to six months, I don't need to tell you the truth. I tried listening to messages. I mm -hmm. couldn't listen. You would just get one trigger and you would start crying. Right. You get this kind of a thing. But I think one beautiful thing that happened to me was that Within those times, I, I was crying and all of that. I was mourning my broken heart. I started learning about love and Yeah. So I, I wasn't in a haste to get into another relationship. And I think that's where most of us get it wrong. We are just done with this person. And the next thing, we need somebody to cover up the gap. Simply because we we want to maybe I will say pepe de, we want to pepe this other person or something. But no, I wasn't in a haste because I knew I needed to heal. I was hurting. I needed to heal so that I don't take the baggages from this other place and put it on the next person. And I also noticed another thing: for every man that was coming to me around that period, I wanted to quantify him with who I had. Yeah, I'm gonna be like. He doesn't have this thing that this person has. You get that point. We do it. It's it's fine. It's okay. But one beautiful thing was that I I grew closer to God because I'm someone that I don't know. I really don't know how to explain my pain. I tell people that I get to some point in my life. I love praying. Well, people would think that um, prayer is only to shield the devil. For me, prayer is communication. communication. For me, it is how I feel God's closer. So there are some times I'll be like, God, I beg. That's a prayer That's for a me. prayer, yeah. So I grew closer to God. And to some point, I started learning love on you. I started learning what love truly is. So I tell people, it's how you can hurt me and I don't even get angry again. I just look at you like, it's it's how I want to love again because love is beautiful. So it, it was more like, you know, if there was a woman in Jesus' life, Jesus knew that this is it, this is going to be there. She would have been hurt. But the fact was that it was for a greater a cause. Greater cause yeah. So people stay in our life for some reasons. Yeah, it's it's not everybody that we are going to get there. I still talk to my my ex team today. Like, we are not in good terms. So I just feel like, maybe this was not meant to be. Maybe it was supposed to be here. Look at, I started looking at it the, as the greater future. Okay, why was this person here? What lessons did I learn from this? Why do I need to move on? So the only war I built then was the fact that I didn't want to carry a hurting heart into another relationship. 
I wanted to discover myself. I wanted to be better. I wanted to be fine. And the truth is that I love this whole version of me a whole lot because anybody I am going to get into a relationship with now, they kind of love how shower on you. Mm. <laughs> you know, there was a meme I saw. I said it would look like they should give you, they should give me your younger brother. Oh, wow. So, and that's because I, I took out time to heal. I took out time to learn. Yeah.